As mentioned, we will use the layout for our tutorial recordings as it is here. Despite this, it can of course be useful to have your own individual layout for the EDIUS interface. To help with this, there are a whole raft of possibilities open to you, and I will show a few of them here. First of all, I'd like to widen my timeline to cover the whole width of the screen. To do this, I can grab the dividing line and move it whilst holding the mouse button down. The double arrow appears, showing us we can move the bar in either direction. I can see that the information window doesn't allow me to use the entire width, so to free up this space, I will move the information box by clicking in this area here and moving it somewhere else. You can see that the info box jumps or locks to certain locations when moving it such as here to the side of the bin and preview boxes. This is useful in that it helps keep the display clean, but it can also hinder you. And if you wish to move a box freely, then you simply move the box whilst holding the shift button down. Now I can move the info box freely and I will place it here and will extend the timeline window all the way to the right. I would like to build my information box into the area here, so I'll move it down for now. And I'd like to move my player window a little to the left, and in doing so I notice that the bin window is automatically extended also, as it is locked to the other window. So I have to once again use the shift key to unlock the windows when resizing them. So hold the shift key, make some space here, now I can move my bin to the right, and now I can place my info section here. It's not very useful to have done this, but it does show you how you can create your own layout to suit your needs. For my situation, I now realize that the information window is slightly annoying in this position, as the area for my preview, and in particular my menu section, will be too small. And so, I'd like to show some other possibilities. You can combine many of these free floating windows, and I'll show you how to do that using the information window as an example. We can see, for example, here, I'll zoom a little, in the bin window, that there are various tab sections below, and I can simply add my information section to these tabs. To do this, I simply click on the information section here, on its name, and with the left mouse button held, I drag and drop the entire section into the window, and the section appears as a tab below. Next, I can enlarge the preview and menu sections, and when I move the window to the edge, it locks into place again. And now having let go of the mouse in the meantime, I can readjust the sections. So now I have created a layout in which I have more space in my timeline compared to the standard layout. And it would of course be nice to be able to save such a layout for future use. To do this in EDIUS, I go to the menu, View, Windows, Layout, which we have already seen, and I have the possibility to save current layout, to store the layout I have created for future use. I will do this via New, and give it a name, Timeline Big, and save it with OK. When I now go into the menu View, Windows, Layout, I have access to the stored layouts, and I can see the layout just created under Apply Layout. This saving of layouts is for the beginner perhaps not so important for now, but can be interesting under certain circumstances, if editing different scenes in EDIUS, and by using a separate layout per scene. And you see that it can be done in a simple manner via the shown methods. I would like to return to the original layout now, so I will drag my info window out of the combined window by simply left clicking and holding the mouse and pulling it out. Now we can see that the window is once again separate, and I could of course do this with other elements, but for my use I will just do it for the information window. 
I will place it again down here, and by using the shift button, I can avoid the windows being locked to make space, and so I can reinsert the window here. At this point, a small tip that is useful when working with floating windows. If a window is accidentally closed, as for example here with the information or BIM window, then I can, as we saw previously, recall them from the view menu, or by using the H key, which with active EDIUS windows hides or shows the windows. And so, when a window is hidden or accidentally closed, you can by repeated pressing of the H key recall and show all the floating windows.